Okay, so welcome to the English Book Club. We are carrying on with our story, uh, Five Children and It, by E. Nesbitt. And uh, today's reading list so far is Eleanor, Moz and Shiny, and Tough Guy might be joining. Moz, you want the link to the book, yes? Okay, no problem. Here you are. That should take you into the book. And just search for the um, beginning of the section that we're going to be reading from. And that's, oh, I wish it wouldn't. Oh, I wish it wouldn't. <laughs> okay, wishes. If wishes were fishes, as they say. Okay, Eleanor, um, you're up first to read. So whenever you are ready, okay? Uh, okay, I begin. Oh, I wish it wouldn't. Oh, I wish it wouldn't. You boys might wish as well. They all wished hard for the sight was enough to dismay the most heartless. They all wished so hard indeed that, that they felt quite giddy and almost lost consciousness. But the wishing was quite vain, for when the wood ceased well round, they dazed, uh, they dazed eyes were riveted at once by the spectacle of a very proper looking young man in flannels and a straw hat, a young man who wore the same little black moustache which just before they had actually seen growing upon the baby's lip. This then was the lamb, grown up, the own lamb. It was a terrible moment. The grown-up lamb moved, moved gracefully across the moss and settled himself against the trunk of the sweet chestnut. He tilted the straw hat over his eyes. He was evidently weary. He was going to sleep. The lamb, the original little tiresome beloved lamb, often went to sleep at odd times and in unexpected places. Was this new lamb in the grey flannel suit and the pale green necktie like the other lamb? Or had his mind grown up together with his body? That was a question which the others, in a hurried council held among the yellowing brake fan a few yards from the sleeper, debated eagerly. Whichever it is, it'd be just as awful, said Antia. If his inside senses are grown up too, he won't stand our looking after him. And if he's still a baby inside of him, how on earth are we to get him to do anything? And it'll be getting on for dinner time in a minute. And we haven't got any nuts, said Jane. Oh, bother nuts, said Robert. But dinner is different. I didn't have half enough dinner yesterday. Couldn't we tie him to the tree and go home to our dinner and come back afterwards? A fat lot of dinner we should get if we went back without the lamb, said Tyrinus in scornful misery. And it'll be just the same if we go, go back with him in the state he is now. Yes, I know, it's my doing. Don't wrap it, it in. I know I'm a beast and not fit to live. You can't take that for settled and say no more about it. The question is, what are we going to do? Let's wake him up and take him into Rochester or Maidstone and get something to eat at a baker's shop, said Robert helpfully. Take him, repeated Cyril. Yes, do. It's all my fault. I don't deny that, but you'll find you've got your work cut out for you if you try to take that young man anywhere. The lamb always was spoiled, but now... See what he'll do. Perhaps he'll take us to Maidstone and stunt it. He ought to have a lot of money in the pockets of those extra special pants. We must have dinner anyway. 
They drew lots with little bits of break when it fell to Jane's lot to waken the grown-up lamb. She did it gently by tickling his nose with a twig of honeysuckle. He said, Father the flies, twice, and then opened his eyes. Hello, kiddies, he said in a languid tone. Still here? What's the giddy hour? You'll be late for your grub. I know we shall, said Robert bitterly. Then cut along along home, said the grown-up lamb. What about your grub, though? asked Jane. Oh, how far is it to the station, do you think? I've a sort of a notion that I'll run up to town and have some lunch at the club. Lang misery fell like a pole on the four others. The lamb alone, unattended, would go to town and have lunch at the club. Perhaps he would also have tea there. Perhaps sunset would come upon him amid the dazzling luxury of club lang, clubland, and a helpless, cross, sleepy baby would find itself alone amid unsympathetic waiters and would wail miserably for panty from the depths of a club armchair. The picture moved and here almost to tears. Oh no, lamb, ducky, you mustn't do that, she cried incautiously. The grown-up lamb frowned. My dear Antia, he said, how often am I to tell you that my name is Hilary, or Saint Mo, or Devere? Any of my baptismal names are free to my little brothers and sisters, but not Lamb, a relic of foolishness and far off childhood. Very good, well done. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely read, and uh, just a couple of little tweaks on the old pronunciation. Okay, um, you'll recognise a couple of them, which is the first one is the T ending, sight. You've got to get that. T yeah, sight. Yeah, yeah, that's it. If you say side, if you've got a softer D sound, then people will si will think side, as in the right hand side the left hand side sight try it sight sight yes separately it's easy yes <laughs> then council again got to get the o you love the o council 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 yeah. and the next one it did make me look up bother oh bother not oh bugger <laughs> Bother. <laughs> bother, 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 bother. That's it. Not bother, bother. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know we say brother, but it is bother. Oh, bother. Okay. And people still use it as a um, instead of swearing, instead of the oh bugger. Uh, people do do still use bother, uh, and you know they mean oh bugger, but people still actually do say that. Politely, it's more polite, and then twig, not tweak, twig. Uh, twig, are we? Not yes. Twig, uh -huh. twig. Twig. Uh, this voice, not voiceless. Yeah. yeah, that's it. So twa and then ig, twig. Okay, tweak. It's got a different send sounding at the end, and it's got the e sound, twig. Okay, like twin. Twig. Yeah. Twig. 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 In as well, twig, uh, wig, sounds like wig with the t on the front. Hello, tough guy, you found us. Okay, you need to s do something about your um, settings, tough guy. I hope you can hear me. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, okay, so I can't. Do? I don't know what you've done. Um, you, it happened to Hermina once, and she had to check her preferences to make sure it was possible to send you a teleport. It's your preferences, you need to set them to say allow other people okay. to send teleport. I can't send you a teleport, so I have to cut and paste it. Okay. This time I ended up up in the platform where you were. I don't know how you ended up at the platform. <laughs> but I did something and I ended up there and I lost some of what Eleanor was reading. So it's 
much better if you can find your own way uh, to the session. Mm -hmm. Check on the map, find where we are. Look on the map for all the little um, white dots. Okay, uh, little green dots, I mean. So yeah. if you have a look on the map, you'll see lots of little green dots and you can teleport yourself there. Uh, or just make sure I can just send you a teleport very quickly and easily, okay? <laughs> okay, yeah. so um, I'll add you to the reading list, that's fine. So tough guy will be after shiny, but the next person to read is Moz. So Moz, are you ready? Ready, you mean? You're ready? Ready, steady, go! Uh, yes. <laughs> Whenever yes. you're ready. <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. This was awful. He was the elder brother now. Was he? Well, of course he was. If he was grown up, since they weren't, thus, in whispers, Anthea and Robert. But the almost daily adventures resulting from the summit's wishes were making the children wise beyond their years. Dear Hilary, said Anthea, and the others choked at the, at the name. You know, the, you know father didn't wish you to go to, to London. London. He wouldn't like us to be left alone without you to take care of us. Oh, deceitful thing that I am, she added to herself. Look here, said Cyril. If you're our elder brother, why not behave as such and take us over to Maidstone and give us a jolly good blow up out. And we'll go We'll go on the river afterwards. I'm definitely obliged to you, said the lamb courteously. But I should prefer solitude. Go, go home to your to your lunch. I mean your dinner. Perhaps I may look in about tea time, or I may not be home till after you are you are in your beds. Their beds. Speaking glances flashed between the wretched for much bed there would be for them if they went home without the lamp. We promised mother not to lose sight if of you if you took you out. Jane said before the others could stop her. Look here, Jane, said the grown up lamp putting his uh, hands in his pockets and looking down at her. Little girls should be seen and not heard. Y you kids must learn not to make mis not to make yourselves a nui nuisance. Ru run along home now. And perhaps if you're, if you're good, I'll give you each a penny to tomorrow. Look here, said Cyril, is in the best man to man at his command. Where are you going, old man? You might let Bob's and me come with you, even if you don't want the girls. This, war, this was really rather noble of Cyril, for he never did care much about being seen in public with the lamb, of who, who of course, after sunset, will be a baby again. The man-to-man -man tone succeeded. I shall run over to Maidstone on my bike, said the new lab airily. Fingering the little black mustache, I can't lunch at the crown. Perhaps I'll have a pool on the river, but I can take you all on the machine. Now can I run along home like good children? The position was desperate. Robert exchanged in despairing look with Cyril. Anthea detached a pin from her waistband, a pin whose with withdrawal left a gaping chasm between skirt and bodice, and handed it furtively to Robert with a grimace of the darkest and deepest meaning. Robert slipped away, slipped away to the road. There 
sure enough, stood a bicycle. A beautiful new one. Of course, Robert understood at once if the lamb was grown up, he must have a bicycle. There, sure enough, enough, stood a bicycle. This had always been one of Robert's own reasons for wishing to be grown up. He hastily began to use the pin, eleven punctures in the back in the back tire, seven in the front. He would have made the total twenty two, but for the rustling of the yellow hazel leaves which warned him of the of the approach of the others. He hastily leaned a hand on each wheel and was rewarded by the wish of the of the what was left of air escaping from eighteen neat pinholes. Your bikes run down, said Robert, wondering how he could so, so soon have learned to, dece to, de to deceive. Well done. Okay. So it yep, yep, that's it. Thank you very much. Nicely read. And um, bear with me a Thank second. You. Okay, yes. How, what is it that um, saying goes, Eleanor? Um, when for something, 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 when first we practice to deceive. Ah, I can't remember. Anyway, let's give you, first of all, your individual words. Okay, and then you get a smiley as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this first oh. word is choked, from to choke. Choke? Yeah, choke, not choked. choked. Choked, like joke. Okay. <laughs> same sound. <laughs> choked. Choked, yeah, it's not the same. If you listen to um, me say the two, two words separately, choked chalked so chalk. to chalk, Ch chalk. something chalk. means to mark it with chalk uh, okay. yeah. uh, it means the right one is choked yeah to choke someone means to strangle them <laughs> uh, or to choke on choke. something you can yeah. choke um, on my choke. English yeah number. exactly to choke uh, means to have difficulty swallowing something. Uh, okay. Choke, choked, chalked. That's choked, it. Choked, choked chalked. <laughs> Not chalked, chalked. Choke, chalked. Choked. Choked. And choked. or saying something. You can choke on your own words. You can... I can't say it, I'm so angry. <laughs> so, choke rhymes with joke, and chalk rhymes with walk. Okay, sounds like walk. Uh, it seems, it seems like a long O on a chalk. Chalk, uh, yeah. Rather long or, but O with choke. Long O, choked, chalked. Okay. Chalk, choked. Okay. Okay. <laughs> choked. Walk. Talk, choked. Choked. <laughs> now I get it, then. <laughs> okay. It's 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 difficult to convince your brain. You just need to practice. Okay. You need to convince your brain that you're right. It's wrong. Because your brain will always try to overround your mouth. <laughs> okay. The next one. It's actually um with a voiced e. Wretched. Wretched. Oh, wretched. <laughs> yeah. Wretched. Um, if you say wretched with the silent e, to wretch is um, like if when a dog is um, choking, it wretches. Kind of, that's that sound. To wretch. <laughs> okay. So, this case, it's to feel really bad to f or to, to be considered to be really bad. Wretched. Try it. Wretched. Uh, wretched. That's it. And then... In chasm has a hard C. Chasm. Chasm. Yeah, ah, it. chasm. Chasm, like Ch a big sound. wide gap between two pa two two parts of um, <laughs> two pieces of land. If there's a wide gap with a deep drop, it's a chasm. The drop is the chasm, like a a deep. Okay. 
dangerous uh, rock climbing, you, you come across chasms in the mountains. You have to either jump over them or find a way around them. Okay, they're very dangerous. Then rustling has a silent T. It's not like rust, rusting, <laughs> rustling. <laughs> Yeah, when you, it's to rust, rustling, uh, rustling. rustling. <laughs> yeah, and you know what a rust, do you know what a rustling sound sounds like? A rustling, sort of. Um, okay. That's a rustling sound. Dry leaves in, in the autumn when the leaves come down, they fall down on the ground, and you walk through the dry leaves does and it, they rustle. There is exist, there is exist a fairy tale to children, for children like. Uh, uh, knight and rusty armor. Okay. <laughs> I don't know that one. <laughs> but this is rustling, not rusting. Okay. And then blowout, you get a smiley for. Take us on a blowout. What does it mean? <laughs> Glowing. Um, no. If I invite you all to a blowout, what do I mean? Is it a good up? Is it, is it good? It's not blow up. It's not like bomb bombs falling and blowing up. <laughs> what what would it mean if I invite you all to a blowout? Any ideas, anyone? Eleanor, did Part, you come across that like one? A party. To, 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 to set I up have, um, I... a firework, right? Not, no, that to would work. be to um, set off. We uh, set off fireworks. I have... I, I have found it, uh, and it's a tricky word because uh, it yeah. means a large party entertainment. Yeah, yeah. lots of blowout. food, lots of drink. It's a big blowout. Uh, Just a big party, they were very a big meal. Yeah. And uh, I think, yeah, uh, you mm -hmm. can uh, say about functions that they they blow mm -hmm. up, uh, out because they are not continuous. But here it's something. Uh, something to eat, a uh, lot of huge quantities. Yeah, it's an idiom. Uh, uh -huh. So don't try to but make sense of the individual words. Don't look at blow and out. Look up the two words and think, oh, um, what does that mean? <laughs> it's an idiom. It has its own meaning. Sorry, carry on, Ellen. Uh, but uh, in the passage, uh, 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 already read the, the, the were uh, I think to uh, and uh, uh, and it, it means uh, to be able to pay uh, uh, for a meal for somebody and then there was uh, I didn't know this one uh, have your work uh, cut out for you and it means that's something very difficult. Perhaps you you know it. I just I'm just mentioning it. There's so monotone. <laughs> yeah, somebody's mic uh, yes. Mars, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because I have a question, Lynn. <laughs> oh, okay. I was uh, waiting for that. Um, there's uh, two words of uh, red. We, now I learned about rest. Uh, am I pronounced right about wreck, 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 wreck? Yes. Wrecked. Silent uh, E. Silent E on wrecked. Uh, so wretched, wrecked. Okay. Your, wreck your. Wreck, wreck, <laughs> wretched. To and then wretched, wretch, and wreck, wretch, wreck. To wretch. Okay. Um, I wrecked the wretched car. Um, so badly. I Rich. Rich. Well, then about the old, yeah? Yeah, hang on. Rich. So try this sentence. I wrecked the wretched car so badly I wretched. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wrecked the wretched car so bad so badly I wretched. Very good. Well done. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Too hard to 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 read. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> it's not easy, but well done. <laughs> okay, so um, shiny, you are next to read. Lynn, could you please uh, share the link? Of course. Of course. Okay, we're here. Okay, we're and we're at page two four nine. Uh, 
Shiny, are you with us? Yes. Awesome. Okay, whenever you're ready then. Thank you. It's a punctual, said Anthea, stooping down and standing up again with the thorn which she had got ready for the purpose. Look here, the grown-up one, or Hillary, as I suppose one must now call him, fixed his pump and blew up the tire. The punctured state of it was soon evident. I suppose there's a cottage somewhere near, where one could get a pail of water, said the lung. There was, and when the num number of punctures had been made manifest, it was felt to be a special blessing that the cottage provided cheese for cyclists. It pro uh, provided an odd sort of tea and hammy meal for the lamb and his brothers. This was paid for out of the 15 shillings which had been earned by Robert when he was a giant for the lamb. It appeared had unfortunately no money about him. This was a great disappointment for the others, but it was that it is a thing that will happen even to the most grown up of us. However, Robert had enough to eat, and that was something, quietly but persistently. The miserable four took it in turns to try to persuade the lung or send more to spend the rest of the day in the woods. There was not very much of the day left by the time he had mended the 18th, 18th Punctual. He looked up from the completed work with a sign of relief and suddenly put his tie straight. There's a lady coming, he said briskly, for Godney's sake. Get out of the way, go home, hide, vanish somehow. I can't be seen with the pack of dirty kids. His brothers and sisters were indeed rather dirty because earlier in the day, Lam, in his infant state, had sprinkled a good deal of garden soil over them. The grown-up Lam's voice was so tyrant-like, as Jane said afterwards, that they actually retreated to the back garden and left him with his little mustache and his frontal suit to meet along the young lady, who now came up the front garden wheeling a cycle bicycle. The woman of the house came out, and the young lady spoke to her. The lamb raised his hat as she passed him, and the children could not hear what she said, though they were crying round the corner by the pig pail and listening with all their ears. They felt it to be perfectly fair, as Robert said. With that wretched lamb in that condition, when the lamb spoke in a languid voice heavy with politeness, they heard well enough. A punctual, he said, he was saying, can I not be of any assistance if you could allow me? There was a, a stifled, stifled explosion of laughter behind the pig pail, the ground up lung. Otherwise, Devereux turned the tail of an angry eye in his direction. You are very kind, said the lady, said the lady. Looking at the lung, she looked rather shy, but as the boys put it, there didn't seem to be any nonsense about her. But oh, whispered Cyril behind the pig pail, I should have thought he'd had enough bicycle mending for one day. And if she only knew that really and truly he's only a whining penny, silly little baby, he's not, and Dia murmured angrily. 
He's a dear. If people only let him alone, it's our own precious lump still. Whatever silly idiots may turn him into, isn't he? Pussy. Jane doubtfully supposed so. Now the lump who I must whom I must try to remember to call send more was examining the lady's bicycle and talking to her with a very grown-up manner indeed. No one could possibly have supposed to see and hear him that only that very morning he had been a chubby child of two years breaking other people's waterbury watches. Devil looks as he ought to be called for the future, took out a gold watch when he had mended the lady's bicycle, and all oh, the onlookers behind the pigtail said, Oh, I be oh, because it seemed so unfair that the baby, who had only that morning destroyed two cheap but honest watches should now, in the ground up, ground upness, she was folly had raised him to have a real gold watch with the chain and seals. Very good, well done. Okay. Okay, so, okay, thank you. Um, we might have to mute, unmute a bit, Shiny, because you've got feedback. So let's, um, let's do that. I'll speak, then you unmute and you speak. Okay. <laughs> it's one of those things. So let's have a look at the individual words and you get a smiley as well. We'll start with cyclists. Well done. You did correct yourself, but you need to make it plural. You've got to get that s at the end. Cyclist. Singular, cyclists, plural. Try it. Cyclists. Much better, good. Okay, don't forget to mute. Thank you. Then the next one, puncture. Not puncture, just puncture. 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 Well done. Uh, we do say sure, but with this word ending, it's puncture. Okay. Then the next one is from unfortunate, not Nate. So it becomes unfortunately. Try it. Unfortunately. Much better. Much better. Okay, the next one isn't from quite, and there wouldn't be an adverb, quietly. It's just, it's from quiet, to be quiet. Shh. So, quietly. Try it. Quietly. Much better. We've got the crickets back, by the way. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. <laughs> And then the next one is another one. It's not like ant. It's infant. The little baby is an infant. Try it. Infant. Much better. Much better. And then spoke from to speak. Yeah, to speak, spoke, spoken. It rhymes with oak. So try it. Spoke. 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 Very good. Now the next one. Okay, the next one, um, it's a bit strange, but you don't pronounce the X. It's Devereux. It's a French name, but we wouldn't pronounce the X. We'd say Devereux. Okay, try it. Try it. Devereux. Perfect. Um, now this one isn't actually a word. Whiny is a word, yeah, uh, but piney isn't. But they obviously wanted it to rhyme. It's a whiny, piney baby, okay? Whiny, piney. Go on, try it, just for fun. Just for fun. Whiny, piney baby. Yay. <laughs> yeah. 
And you get a smiley for stifled. To stifle. Stifled. Stifled. Very good. Well done. Very good. Well done. Okay, so tough guy, if you are ready. Okay. Hillary, as I as I will now, one second. As I will now, John him withered his brothers and sisters with a glance, and then said to the lady, with whom he seemed to be uh, quite friendly, if you will allow me, I will ride ride with you as far as it is getting late, and there are tramps about. No one will ever know what answer the young lady intended to give to this gallant offer, for directly Anthea heard it made. She rushed out, knocking against a, a swell, pale, which overflowed in a turbid stream and caught the lamp. I suppose I ought to say Hillary by the arm. The others followed, and in an instant of Sorry, the instant the four dirty children were visible beyond disguise. Don't let him. <clears throat> One second. One second. Actually, my, my laptop that stuck. One second. There was a. Mm -hmm. 253 253 okay now the lamp oh i forgot that was uh 253 okay now the lamp who whom i must try to remember to call saint more no it has already been read right <clears throat> Uh, okay, you just let him go with you, said Anthea. Uh, Anthea, you you will soon see what I mean. How would you like to suddenly see a poor poor little helpless baby spinning along downhill beside beside you, with its feet up on a bicycle it had lost control of? The lady had turned rather pale. Who are these very dirty children? She asked the grown-up lamb, sometimes called Saint Moore in these pages. I don't know. He lied miserably. Oh, lamb, how can you? cried Jane. When you know perfectly well, you are you are our own little baby brother that uh, we are so fond of. We are his uh, big brothers and sisters, she explained. Turning to the lady, who with trembling hands was now turning her bicycle towards the gate and we have got to take care of him and we must get him home before sunset or i don't know whether or whatever sorry i don't know whatever will become of us you see he is sort of under a spell and chanted you know what i mean again and again the lamp devra de, de i mean had tried to stop Jane's eloquence, but Robert and Robert and Cyril held him one by each leg, and no proper explanation was possible. The lady rode hastily away and electrified her relatives at dinner by telling them of her escape from a family of dangerous lunatics. The little girl's eyes were simply those of a maniac. I can't think how. I can't think how she came to be at large, she said. When her bicycle had whizzed away down the road, uh, Cyril spoke gravely. Hillary, old, old, old chap, he said. You must have had a sunstroke or something. And the things you have been saying to that lady. Why, if we were to tell you the things you have said, when you are yourself again so you wouldn't even understand them let alone believe them 
you trust to you trust to me old chap and come ho come home now and if you are not yourself in the morning they'll ask the milkman to ask the doctor to come the poor grown up lamb was really one of his uh, christian names seem now to and seem now too believer to resist since you seem all to be as mad as the whole uh, worshipful company of haters he said bitterly i suppose i had better take you home but you are not supposed to i shall pass this over i shall have something to say to you all tomorrow morning yes you will my lamb said anthea under her breath but it won't be at all the sort of thing you think it's going to be in her heart she could the pretty soft little loving voice of the lamb of the baby lamb so different from the affected tones of dreadful grown up lamb one of whose names was devro saying me love panty wants to come to own panty very good oh well let's done. go home okay well done <laughs> okay excellent so much so much of drama yeah <laughs> 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 very dramatic isn't it okay nicely read let's have a look at some of the words oh i've lost them hang on what have i done with them ah there they are good 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 but very well read very well read okay so that first word is comes from a feeling of feeling miserable miserable so when it's miserable. turned into the adverb it comes miserably miserably Miserably, miserably. It's that uh, that schwa okay. sound. Okay. Miserably, miserably. <coughs> okay, I do not have to do this. <laughs> your brain, <laughs> your brain is playing tricks with you. Let me give you the. Um, yes, this is the. I know, I know. Yeah, I'm yeah. the same. I'm the same in German. Don't worry. So let's give you the <laughs> actual. Um, here you go. Here's the phonetic spelling. You can see it's mis, uh. R bull. There's no E and there's no A. They're mm. all that little drunken E, the schwa, uh. So miserable. Miserable. Perfect. Miserable. Yeah. That's it. Who she was great was great. Miserable. miserable. So miserable. Now try miserable. it as the um try the same but miserably. Miserably. Getting there, getting there. Still need that mis miserably. Okay. And yeah, let's you can practice that. Okay. And you can listen to it in yes. the um you can listen to it online as well, remember. You can always find the pronunciation. Miserable. Miserable. Okay. Then lunatics yeah. is the next one. Luna being the moon. And of course, people who were mad used to be called lunatics because it was thought the moon drove them mad. Okay, lunatics. Try it. Lunatics. That's it. Some people think I'm a lunatic. <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> uh, yep. Is there in German or or in uh, England the cartoon like uh, lunatic? Oh, Looney Tunes. Do you mean Looney Tunes? <laughs> Looney Tunes. Yeah. I, I only know Looney Tunes. <laughs> With, uh, oh gosh, who's in it? There's the little piggy and there's the uh, Duffy Duck, is it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know of a cartoon called Lunatic, though, but um, I love it too. I think it's great. <laughs> Cartoons are fantastic. I particularly love Pinky and the Brain, though. Pinky and the Brain is still my favourite. Okay. So, um, next one. Bewildered. Bewitched, bothered and bewildered. But Silent E. But Pinky. Bewildered, brain, brain, brain. Bewildered. <laughs> bewildered, bewildered, yes. <laughs> now, the next one, you might think, especially because you're all internet children, children of the internet, you might think haters. But if you notice, it's got double T. It's actually hatters. Yes, so. Now, have you heard of the phrase as mad 
as a hatter? No. Ah. Uh, I have posted it. Yeah, I, I was going to say. Um, do you want to share your link again, Eleanor? Because Tuffy uh, wasn't here. Uh, earlier. Yes. It's in the yes. forum, guys, and it's always worth before the session going to have a look because Eleanor does this work for you, okay? Um, and she'll post the link to the document that she's pre prepared of some of the more difficult words and some of the odder sayings. But hatter, hatters used to make hats out of felt. And I believe the process used some poison like arsenic or something, and it drove them mad. Literally, they turned. It, it destroyed what the is brain. felt? What is felt? Felt, felt. is um, it's a cloth that's been it's a very tightly woven cloth. So if you take wool and you knit something and then you boil it, it turns into a felt like material. And felt was used to make top hats and um, speci specifically these kind of hats. Okay. And the process was so poisonous it actually drove the hatters insane and so this phrase came out as mad as a hatter okay it's mercury yes not arsenic mercury that was it yeah and it's one of those um old words and old phrases that we still use today but a lot of people don't know where it came from and it's actually got quite a sad history because these poor people really were crazy but they were driven crazy by the poison uh, involved in the work that they did. There you go. So, back to the pronunciation, tough guy. Hatter. Hatter. That's it. Good. Well done. And then I think you get um, just this last one at the end. It is a swill pail. Not a swill pail. It's a swill pail. Swill pail. Don't don't emphasize pale, okay? The emphasis goes on swill. A swill pail, a pail for holding swill, okay? Uh, Swiss uh, liquid uh, for animals to drink, so. Well, generally for pigs, we call it pig swill. Uh, it's a sort of mixture of um, sloppy, <laughs> sloppy, disgusting looking food that pigs love. And a swill pail was the bucket. It's basically, it's another word for bucket, okay, for carrying this sloppy stuff in. So it's just one word, pig swill, a swill pail. I think we've got some piggies outside. I'm not sure. Let's have a look. Have we got any piggies? Oh yeah, there we've got some piggies. Uh, but I don't think they've got a swill pail yet, but we can give them one maybe. Uh, for our farm, yeah, I'll put I'll put a swill yeah. pail out for them. <laughs> okay. Any questions? How are we doing for time? Oh. Let's see, have we got time for dope to read? Ah, oh, I'm gonna have to check my time. Eleven twenty. Go on then, dope. Are you okay to read, guys? If anybody has to go, that's fine. Yes. Yep. Okay, dope. I'm okay. Yes, I'm okay with it. Okay, okay cool. Then, uh, whenever you're ready, okay? I am. <laughs> I am. I am. Ready. <laughs> Shall I start? Oh. Shall I start? Hello. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> didn't respond, I don't know, so I think it's a connection just... Okay, uh, where is it? Oh, 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 let's go home, for good sake, for goodness sake, she said. You show you whatever you like in the morning, if you can, she added in a whisper. It was a gloomy party that went home through the soft evening, during Ancien's remark, Robert had again made play with uh, with the pin and uh, bicycle tire, and uh, the lamp, uh, who they had to call Sa Sa Santa Maura of Devereaux of Hil Hillary, seems really at last uh, to have had his uh, feel of bicycle mandolin, so the machine was wheeled. The sun was just on the point of setting 
when they arrived at the white house, the four elder children would have liked to to linger in the lion till the complex sun, sun setting turned to grown up lamb, who Christian named I will not father weary you by repeating into their own deal, dear threesome baby brother, but he is his grown and absent upness insisted on going on and thus he was met in the front garden by man 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 Martha. Now you remember that as a specific favor the summit had arranged that the servants in the house should never notice any change brought about by the wishes of the children. Therefore Martha merely saw the usual party with the lamb, with the baby lamb, about whom she had been desperately anxious all the afternoon, trotting besides Ansia and on, on fat baby legs, while the children, of course, still saw the grown-up lamb, never mind what name he was uh, christened by, and Martha R uh, rushed at him and cut him in her arm, exclaiming, Come to his own Martha, then pre precious puppet, the grown-up lamb, who name shall not be buried in the abyss, struck furiously, an, ex an expression of intense horror and an un un announce was seen on his face, but Martha was stronger than he, he lifted him up and carried him into the house. None of the children will ever forget that picture. The neat gray funnel suited grown up young man with a green neck necktie and uh, the little black mustache. Fortunately, he was slightly built and not tall, struggling in the sturdy arm of Martha, who bore him away helpless. You know, imploring him as as she went to be a good boy now and come and have his nice bre milk. Fortunately the sun set as they reached the doorstep, the bicycle disappeared and Martha was seen to carry into the house in the real life uh, daring 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 daring, daring. Sle uh, sleepy two years old lamb the grown up lamb nameless Hench Force was gone forever. The grown up lips struggled. Forever, said, uh, said Cyril, because as soon as ever the lamb's old enough to be uh, bullied, uh, we must jolly well begin to bully him for his own sake. So that he, as he might grow up like that. You, sh you, you shan't bully him, said Ansa shortly. Not if I can stop it. We must tame him by kindness, said Jane. You see, said Robert, if he grow, grows up in a usual way, there will be plenty of time to correct him as he goes along. The awful thing today was his growing up so suddenly, there was no time to improve him at all. He doesn't want any improving, said Antha, as the voice of the lamb came cooling through the open door, door just as, as she had heard in her heart that afternoon. Me loves Penty, oh, wants to come to own Penty. Well done. Okay, perfect place to end. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bear with me one second. One little word at the end there. Okay. So, um... Okay, so a few words to correct, but don't worry. Uh, don't scream when you see them. That's what you're here for. But what if, what if I'm already worried? <laughs> ah! <laughs> then stop worrying, okay? Stop worrying. <laughs> you're, not, you're not worried about corrections, are you? That's what you're here for. <laughs> okay, so the next chapter will be chapter 10. Okay, let's have a look at the individual words first. Um, so, oh, I was trying to delete something and it's actually a mucky mark on my 
screen. <laughs> okay, so um, the first one is mending, to mend, to fix something that's broken, you yeah. mend it. Repair, mending. Mending, yeah. Mending. Mending. Mending, yeah. oh, mending. No ling. Uh, we mending. do say mending. meddle mending. and meddling. Mending. But mending. mending, okay. Then special, not specific. Now, do check in your copy of the book in case you're reading a different copy, because specific would fit, but in my copy it says special. So I'm not sure if you misread it, if your brain did, yeah, specific will fit, uh, or if it's actually in your book. I was just into the story, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know mistake. either. <laughs> I was in. I was into the story. You know? <laughs> okay, so we'll skip that one and we'll go to christened. It's not Christianed. It's christened. Silent T to christen Christened. a baby to give it its name. Okay. Christened. Oh, christened. That's it. Christened. Then exclaiming from to exclaim. So I like to say something. Exclaiming. Exclaiming. That's it. Exclaiming. Well, exclaiming. Exclaiming. Good. Exclaiming. Perfect. Exclaim. Now the next one is about stress. Your pronunciation's fine, but the stress was off. It's fortunately. So the stress is on the first syllable. Oh. Fortunately. Yeah. I made it fortunately. Yeah. Not, oh, fortunately. Fortunately. That's it. Good. Then stoutly. To say something stoutly, to say it very forcefully, stoutly. Try it. Oh, stoutly. That's it. And then stoutly. cooing, not cooling, cooing. There's no missing L there. Oh. It's cooing. Cooing. Well, if, you, if you heard, um, you heard April this morning with the baby and she was cooing over the baby. She was going, oh, call me a little baby. Oh, my little baby. Oh, my little baby. <laughs> Oh, That's cooing. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pigeons coo as well. Coo, 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 coo. Okay, so it's a particular sound you make when talking to babies or if you're a pigeon. Ooh, ooh. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, the next one is not two years old lamb. It's a two year old lamb. When you've got the age of something as an adjective, it takes the singular. Um, when you've got the number of something as an adjective, so like a thousand page book, a book with a thousand pages, but a thousand page book, a baby that's two years old, but it's a two year old baby. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two year old. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Then this is a good one to linger in the lane. It's almost a tongue twister to linger in the lane. To linger in the lane. Good. Now, there's a lot of messing about with the names in this particular chapter because, of course, at the beginning, the lamb ostentatiously said, you can't call me the lamb, I'm Devereux, I'm Lord Fluffy Wuff, whatever. So there's a lot of that. And what at the end she says, whose names shall now be buried in oblivion, as in they will be forgotten now because we can't be bothered anymore. So whose names shall now be buried in oblivion. Try it. Those names shall not be buried in oblivion. Mm -mm. You're reading again, but your brain is tricking you. Whose, not those, whose names, oh, who, and then now, whose, not name, not, who, whose names shall now be buried in oblivion. Try it. Uh, whose names shall now be buried in oblivion. Very good. <laughs> Yeah, try to read what's there. Don't let your brain trick you, okay. especially if it's a reading test. Okay, and then the last one, yeah. you get a smiley because you corrected yourself. For goodness sake. For goodness sake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just an exclamation of frustration, surprise. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't mean anything in itself, really. Uh, but we do say it quite often. Oh, for goodness sake, Laika, stop barking. <laughs> Moz, is that my car? Well, I'm not sure if Shiny's noticed the car outside, but I think Shiny set fire to it in her story last week. But nobody noticed it, noticed it so well done. <laughs> well done, Moz. You get uh, 10 out of 10 for observation. <laughs> oh, dear. But it's just, yes, it's burning, but it's okay. 
the fire engine's there as well. Shiny set fire to it because she didn't want to go camping. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> and you never knew Shiny was an yeah. arsonist, did you? <laughs> Okay, so thank you so much for coming and for taking part and reading. Um, I'll be here, um, I think, tomorrow as normal and in Google Hangouts tomorrow morning. Uh, but I'm going to disappear off the internet for now and uh, go and get some other work done. Okay, but thanks a lot. Great reading. Well done. Yeah, have a nice day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.